In this video, we will use Excel's autofill feature to automatically create lists. Hi, my name is Jason Matthew and welcome to the Weekend EduTech channel. So I'm using Microsoft Excel for Mac version 16.64. But what I'm about to show you should work on any version of Microsoft Excel, whether it's working on a Windows computer or a Mac computer. So I have this practice spreadsheet here with some examples that we're going to go through. There's a link to a copy of this spreadsheet in the video description. So you could use that link to download a copy of your own so that you could follow with me as I go through it. In the first cell A6, if I select that cell, it has the word green. And if I go to the lower right corner of that cell, you see that the crossbars that are filled white will turn to a black filled crossbars. And if I click on that lower right corner and I drag down, you see that Excel has copied the word green in rows from A7 to A20. But Excel doesn't just copy text. It can also autofill the formatting of that cell. So for instance, if I click again on the lower right corner, I drag down. You see this time, it not only copies the word green, it copies the formatting of that cell, which is that green fill color. Now let's go to the column C. I'm going to select C6, go to the right bottom right corner of that cell C6. I'm going to drag down. And when I drag down, I'm going to get the same green color, green fill, and the word green copied. Now, if you look, there's an option here for autofill options. If I click that drop down menu, there's a few things that I could do. So, and this happens every time you autofill, you'll get these options. So I could just have the fill formatting only. Now, if I choose that option, you see that all the cells that are autofill just has the green fill color, but it doesn't have the word green. Or I could fill without formatting. So in that case, it's going to take the word green and autofill that, but it's not, it's not taking the green color with it. So if I click on oh, this is what it looks like. Autofill also works on numbers. So if I click on cell D6, so that's just a number one, and I go again to the bottom right corner, and I click, hold, and drag down, you see Excel has autofill the other subsequent cells that are selected with the contents of that first cell D6, which is one. Now, if I go to that, um, to the autofill options and I click the drop down menu, right now it's the option is copy cells. But if I click on fill series, you see that there are increments of ones. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, going down. So in this one, I'm saying how to fill in a series without dragging down. This dragging down stuff is great when it's just a few cells, like for instance, in this one is up to row 20. So that's easy to drag down. But let's say you had a very massive data set, thousands of entries, then dragging down is not the best way to do that. What you can do, you can click on this number here or the cell. So you make sure that home is selected. And then once home is selected, if you look somewhere on the right of that menu, it should have an autofill option there. And if you click on the drop down menu, you can choose series. Now there are a few things you can do here, but for this example, I'm going to say that I want a series in the columns, like choose columns and step value means what do you want the number to increase by? So let's say I wanted to increase it by a value of two and the stop value at what value do i want it to end at let's say i want it to end at 200. so if i click ok now if you watch if i scroll down you see the values are increasing by two and it goes all the way until it reaches 200. because if i add 199 plus 2 it's going to give me 201 but i told excel don't cross over 100 over 200 it has up to 199 based on the limitations that i gave it so let's go back up for january it can also do months so if i click hold and go down and i see it's giving me a preview there that once i release from the mouse it's going to go up to march for that cell f20 so i hold i release now so you see it it has increased the months january february march april and so on 
Now let's say that that's not what I wanted for some reason. Say, let's say I wanted January for all those cells, then that's easy. I go to the fill options, click on the drop down menu, and I click copy cells. Now you see all of them are now January. So it'll be whatever the original cell had. I can also go back to the options. Fill series means that they are incrementally increasing. And Excel will do this with both the long name of the month as well as the short name. So if I hold and I drag down, you see it has the abbreviated names, but it does the same thing. Likewise, if I wanted it to just be January in those cells, I just click the copy cell option. So it gives me January. If I click the series, then it will increase by one month to so January, February, March, and so on. Now for days of the week, something similar happens. So you can have it increasing as a series, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if I go to the drop down menu to get the other options, I will choose copy cells if I wanted all the cells to have the first cell contents, which in this case is Monday. If I click copy cells, you get that. If I wanted the series, as I said, increasing incrementally, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you, you get that. But you also get some other options with um, autofill, which is that you could fill weekdays. Now, right now, it has Saturday and Sunday. But look at what happens if I choose weekdays. You're going to see that the Saturdays and Sundays are removed and it only has weekdays and just like that. So it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then it starts back with Monday again. So it has removed Saturdays and Sundays. So that's really cool. Now, if you look, I had a note here saying that autofill could work with both columns as well as rows. So what I'll do is that I'm going to shift the sheet a little bit to the right. So you see, we have some other examples coming up. And what I'll do is that I'm just going to type Monday in cell H22. And again, you look, you go to the bottom right corner of the cell. So the cross becomes a solid black cross and then I just drag across. So I'm doing a row now and you see it's giving me a preview there. So let's say I wanted a row with Monday to Friday. So I will stop here and once I release from the mouse, there you go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And the same thing again, you get the same options. If I just wanted Monday in all those cells, copy cells. If I want to get a series again, I click series and that's how it works. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to click on the eraser here, clear all. And just like with months, there's the long Excel recognizes both the long name as well as the short name. So if I click on Monday and I just drag down, it gives me the shortened abbreviated version of the days. And again, you can, you can choose weekdays if you don't want the Saturdays and Sundays there. And there you go. So, so far you have seen that Excel can autofill text. It can autofill formatting. It can autofill numbers. It can autofill days of the week, months of the year. It can also do the same thing for time as well. So if I click on cell J6 and again go to the right bottom right corner there and I hold and I drag down and I release you see the default is that it's increasing the time by one hour if I click the, to see the options if I wanted just for it to be 6 a.m. for all the cells I could just say copy cells but if I wanted to increase by an hour you click fill series now the default is that it's going to increase Excel is going to increase the time by one hour, but you could also specify the time increment that you want. So for this example, we're going to be doing 30 minute increments and it's very easy and Excel is very smart in figuring it out. You just have to show Excel what the pattern is and then Excel figures out, oh, well, that's the pattern. Then I could autofill the rest using that new pattern. So for 30 minutes increments, it means that if I start at 6 a.m., the next one should be 6.30 a.m. So I've typed in 6.30 a.m. Now what I will do is that I will select both cells, K6 and K7, and with the two cells selected, I go to the, again, the bottom right corner, 
and I hold and I drag down. And let's see what happens. Now, if you look, it went from 6.30 to 7 to 7.30, 8, 8.30 going down. So it meant that Excel recognized the pattern and was able to apply that 30-minute increment for the other cells. So that's really cool. Excel can also autofill dates as well. So if I choose this date in L6, so it's the year followed by the month followed by the date. That's the format being used here. So year, month, date. And if I click and drag, you see that it's increasing by one day. So it started off from the 9th of October to the 10th of October to the 11th of October going onwards. Now to really see this, let's choose the long date. So I go to the top menu and I choose long date. And you remember when you see these hashtags, you go between the columns and you double click so it will auto fit. So what I can do is that let me just select it again so you get the auto fill options. So it's right now it's saying Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and so on. Let's see what kind of interesting options we can get for dates. So the first thing, as usual, if you choose copy cells, it's going to copy the original cell. So in this case, the original cell is in L6. That's the first cell in the selection. And it's Sunday, October 9, 2022. And if I click copy cells, you will see that all these cells will now have Sunday, October 9, 2022. Let's click for other options. Fill series. That means that each cell is going to increase by one day. It starts off as Sunday, October 9th. It goes to Monday, October 10th, Tuesday, October 11th, and so on. I can also, let's see what other options I have. Fill weekdays. Now, right now, the default is that Excel will put in Monday, Sundays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But if I choose weekdays, it means that it's going to remove Saturdays and Sundays. All right, so you see in the autofill, there's no more Saturdays and Sundays there. We can also fill months. So if I choose the fill month option, and I get hashtags, so let's double, double click. It's keeping the day, which is the 9th, but it's increasing by a month. So it goes October 9th, November 9th, December 9th, January 9th, and so on. All right, so we have done fill months. Ah, there's fill years as well. And I think you know where this is going. So if I fill years, it's gonna keep the day, it's gonna keep the month. So October 9th is all through all the cells, but it's increasing the year by one. So 2022, 2023, 2024, and so on. All right, so let's continue. So let's go to this other date. Let's see, there's a note here. We want the Monday of every week. So you wanna commence with the Monday. All right, so the 10th of October is a Monday. If you want only Mondays, again, you have to give Excel the pattern. So the next Monday will be, and again, this, this format is year, so 2022 month is October. And the next Monday after the 10th, be seven days from then to so the 17th and what I do is I select both cells so M6 and M7 I go to the bottom right corner of that selection and I drag hold and drag down and as you can see it's now all the Mondays and if you can't see it right away let's go to long date so you can see it better as you can see all of them are Mondays and it's going from 2022 to 2023. So as I said, Excel is a very smart piece of software. So like for instance, if you autofill this cell N6, it, says, it sees product and it sees a number. And what Excel will do by default is increase that number by one. So as you can see, it keeps the word product and increases the number by one. But let's say for some reason, you just wanted product one repeated all the time. You remember what you do, you just choose copy cells. If you want a series, fill series. And then quarter one, now look at what Excel will do here. The word quarter, Excel recognizes that word. So you see it goes one, two, three, four, and then it's, it, it starts again, one, two, three, four. So it's repeating that pattern. So Excel has some built-in list that it adds but you could also create a custom list. Now, how you get to the menu of custom lists is a little different. 
for Mac users, you just go to the top menu, you click on Excel, you click on Preferences, and then you click on Custom List. Now for Windows users, it's a little more, have some more steps in it. So you would click on File, then go to Options, Advanced, scroll to the bottom where you see something like Edit Custom List. You click on that. But for Mac users, it's a little more straightforward. So I click on custom list. So click on that. And as you can see, there are some lists there, but I could add a new list. So like, let's say I'm running uh, the science department and I need to create a list for biology. I keep using the, this list, biology, chemistry, and physics. And you want to separate each item by a comma. I'm going to click add so that list now goes in there and I could close this custom list dialog box and look at what happens if I type in now biology and I drag that down you see it gives me chemistry physics so this is a simple example but you could create your own custom list and just keep adding it to the spreadsheet so that's awesome so these are just some of the more common examples but there's so much you could do with autofill. So please let us know in the comment section of the video how you use autofill in your practice. I hope you guys learned something from the video. And if you did, as usual, show your love, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll talk soon. Take care, guys. Bye.